Most sequencers can be clocked, and some can be voltage addressed. Rene takes the combination a step further by arranging its locations non-linearly and allowing the two axes to be controlled independently in either way or both ways. It's a plane of composition, creating relations of movement and rest, speed and slowness between unformed elements. For example, I like to clock the x-axis while addressing the y-axis. This gives us two types of movement, each of which is cyclical, but together they can add up to something more. Adjusting the relative frequency of these cycles leads to changes in patterns, and many repetitive and non-repetitive versions can be found. system, it is easy to make the clocking and the addressing related temporally. For example, if I address the y-axis with a signal triggered by the same clock that moves the x-axis, I get vertical movement that is always in rhythmic sync with the horizontal movement. But each movement has its own character. Attenuation of the addressing CV is critical to both the scope and the speed of movement on the y-axis. We can take it a step further by putting the amplitude of the incoming signal under voltage control. For example, let's use the same clock that moves the x-axis to step the woggle bug forward and use the Wogglebug's stepped random output to control the amplitude of the addressing cycle using the mod demix. Now each new vector has its own speed and scope. Scale Recall on the Q page will select forms for these arpeggios to take. With four sets of values for each column, we have 16 forms and an effectively infinite selection of speeds. Thank you. 